is the first Christmas we've had together in years. I love you guys. I'm making up for some lost time. Authorities are wondering if the masked vigilante who terrorized the city's underworld is back. The past is caught up with me. Should we be worried? No, no, it's nothing. I'll be home for Christmas. I promise. It's the most wonderful time. When I wore this suit, I made a whole lot of enemies. You're a Hawkeye. Who the hell are you? Some people have actually called me the world's greatest archer. Are you one of those people? It's the most wonderful. Hey, babe, I should be back in a day or two. Hang on a second. With the kids jingle bell, Things have gotten more complicated. It's the most wonderful time of the year. It's the most wonderful time. Yes, the most wonderful This is too dangerous. Definitely not this one. You don't have to say definitely like that. some Christmas. The power structure at the morning show is shifting with the new voices and younger generations. We have some fabulous new cast members. We have more incredible storylines. We have new amazing characters. Okay, should we have the conversation about Bradley that I think we're all thinking? Is she really cutting it? Greta came in and just swooped us all off of our feet. What I want is to change things here. Stella Bach is the youngest and only female news president in the history of UBA. I want to build things, but I can't build them if the ground isn't level. She's essentially the new Corey Ellison. There's no reason why they would get along and see eye to eye, and they definitely do butt heads. Her point of view seems to be, you're lucky to have me. Clear the wax out of your ears so you can hear what I'm telling you. you UBA's New Year's Eve extravaganza tomorrow night live. I've spent years putting on a suit pretending to be a fake news anchor. So transitioning over to the morning show was just an extension. An action! I was asked to submit my audition tape during my sister's wedding. I call mom, I said, will you sing with me really quick? We did a little duet together, and that was the weirdest audition tape I've ever put together in my life. The top trending topic this morning is Alex Levy. When Ty comes into this world, he's new and fresh, and he's not involved with the internal games and mechanics of trying to get up the ranks of UBA. Hello. Who are you, and how did you get in here? Oh, that's Ty Fitzgerald. He's actually on the show. I know who that is. I was really nervous to act opposite Jen. I really am so looking forward to working with you. Well, I'm really excited to be worked uh, with worked with. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she was so friendly and so supportive that I forgot about all my anxieties. Well, look who's here. Juliana Margulies is an incredible addition to the show. There she is. Here I am. She's brilliant and so talented. She was on ER and I was on Friends and our stage doors opened up and we'd chat with each other. Who would have thought 25 years later we'd be finally on the same set? Alex, if you're ready. My character, Laura Peterson, is the network's golden ticket. She can pretty much do anything she wants. What was the nature of your relationship with Mitch Kessler? You never see anything like it. Someone coming in so well prepared, take after take after take. It's just quite impressive. It was an incredible experience coming into the show where everybody on this set is a master of their craft. Jumping into this vat of incredibly talented women, it was an embarrassment of riches. I'm so excited to come to work and to get to do it with these people who I love. It's a total dream. so much potential to be reborn and consumed to be ruled it's time to finish what i started 
ready? Yeah. This is life. If it wasn't me, it would have been someone else. You know how impossible it is to be your sister? Graduation. <laughs> Am I right? This graduation party is iconic. I can't believe you. I'm sorry. Here. Someone must have said something. Did you say something? <sighs> this cannot be happening. It was an accident. No one will really know what we did. Seriously posting from campus. I'm not worried. It's like you want to get shut down. Hey, Bayview. School is back in session. And you know what that means. So am I. This week, I'll be taking down four of Bayview's biggest offenders. Let's just say I've got enough dirt to bury them. Your obsession with other people's lives is pathetic. Nobody at the school would get called out for anything if it weren't for me. <laughs> Simon? <laughs> Jesus, he's allergic. I don't think he's breathing. You want to help? As we go. Detective Wheeler has a couple questions. Wasn't it an accident? They think one of us did it. Without Simon, you get to be valedictorian. You're accusing me now. I know them. I don't know you. We need to work together now. And why should we trust you? So you guys have no secrets. I've got too much on the line. Tell them the truth. It's not going to change anything. Everybody here hated him. But who also hated us? What is a secret we're literally killing for? I dropped a bomb. The whole world is watching for my next move. You're the number one trending topic ahead of tater tots, and the Pope followed you. Uh, wow. Okay, no, this is not the, re is this the real? Uh, right. No, Great. I don't Thanks, think this Greg. is a Pope. My family have disappeared. I need to know where everyone is and what everyone's thinking. There he is, the little man who started this big war. Right now, I'm the real you. Sure, and I'm the real you. You sound deranged. As I understand it, you want to take down your dad without implicating yourself. Correct. And without damaging the company to the extent that you lose control at your shareholder meeting. You have an actual case, Ken? Yes, I can kill him. Is he going to watch? Could we make a note in the minutes that he's watching us? There's blood in the water. Sharks are coming. We're gonna lose a company. We're gonna lose a fucking company Yo. today. Investigation's looking pretty bad. I'm focused on not going to jail. Logan says we have to take these. Cyanide pills. It's a mint, you doofus. No one's on my side in this. I need you to protect me, Pinky. We don't beef up soon. I think we end up someone's lunch. When will your father die? Uh, with due respect. No, no, no. Obviously. Yeah, no. Obviously, hugely looking forward to my father dying. Right. Where does this end? This friction. I thought my family was fucked up. This is next level. Roman is a knucklehead. Shiv is a fake. And Kenny is screwy. I've seen more than any of them. This life is not for everyone. It's a number on a piece of paper. 
It's a fight for a knife in the mud. I'm a good guy. I'm better than you. We'll fucking beast them. We'll go full fucking beast! Shot of surviving. Maybe someone's out there. Somebody could help get us home. the story of Marcus Watkins. I know most people don't think about us up there in the mountains. Many of my patients are miners. It's dangerous work and they carry the burden of building this nation on their backs. They're a pain. These people, my people, trusted me. I can't believe how many of them are dead now. We've begun looking at something that could be big. Oxycontin. Purdue Pharma, they've been marketing the drug as something that's not addictive, when it clearly is. All your doctors are going to be asking, how is this even possible? Your most effective talking point are these magic words. Less than one percent. Less than one percent. Less than one. Less than one. They told me that less than one percent would become addicted. Foxy Cotton does what I think it can. It could soon become Purdue's first billion-dollar drug. Purdue continues to lie about the drug's safety to doctors, to patients, and the FDA. We have a major case here. Addiction rates, overdoses, and crime are on the rise across the country because of this drug. I think maybe the medicine might be just a tad more addictive than you said. I can't live like this anymore. Our community is ground zero for a national catastrophe. Purdue will not move unless we punch hard. This is not our fault. These people want to be addicted. I want top executives to feel some pain. It's crucial they understand we've created the greatest painkiller in the history of human civilization. I think I can make this the biggest drug in the world.
My boyfriend is missing. So you just vanished. Found his truck off the road. Blood everywhere. Something bigger is going on here. I can feel it. We need to call the cops. And tell them what? We just took drugs and money from an accident. Hi, Tanya. They are watching. You. Me. Everything. You sure everything's okay? Yeah. We have to proceed carefully. If you think you can just blow into town and start making messes, that ain't gonna go well. This is Montana. I see why they call it Big Sky. Such a vibe. family and a gun. We all gotta play the hand that we do. You gotta deal with the consequences. This is a huge story. That woman is innocent. I want to say that this award is a testament to the unrelenting journalistic spirit of all my colleagues. Thank you so much. The world is going back today. The last year has been really hard. My husband wants me to become this walking uterus. I work for this brainless child dictator. We all know your reputation. I'm sorry, what? I got a huge opportunity. Three and a half years ago, Tony Plimpton was convicted of killing her husband. I'm trying to help you. Or are you trying to help yourself? So you want to write a story about you saving a black woman. But no, the story's not about me. But the goal is to save her, right? I only care about the truth. You look educated, but you're coming off lightweight dumb, for real. You're saying dress like a time traveler. The whole story, it has everything. Guns, injustice, murder. You're not getting the story. The world is gone. How do I know you're not playing me? How do I know you're not a murderer? Oh, God. Oh, that's not... You want to help me? Leave me the hell alone. Yeah. Who are you? Beth Burgess. And I'm a journalist. <laughs>